Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I make mental health education videos. In a previous video, I talk about the Mediterranean diet and how it has been shown in studies to improve depression. Well, those studies show how following the diet helps your brain, but they don't really speak to why that diet helps. And here's why. And this is one proposed mechanism and not the only answer. It has to do with oxidative stress. What's that? There's different types of stress. Mental stress comes from external pressures like deadlines, expectations, demands. You can also be stressed physically from things like infection or surgery. And these processes weaken your body's defenses. But there's another type of stress that occurs at the cellular level and it's called oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs when you get free radical formation that causes tissue damage. Think of it as your body's rusting process. You can see this on a macro level when the paint on your car starts to fade over time from exposure to oxygen in the air and sun. Well, a similar thing happens in your body at a cellular level. And we see the effects of oxidation with aging, cancer, heart disease, and many other diseases. But it's also been linked to psychiatric illnesses like autism, ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, and schizophrenia. Oxidative stress affects all of the cells of your body, but the brain is particularly sensitive to oxidative stress. So let me show you what this looks like so you can better understand what this term means. Your body organs are made up of trillions of cells. Yes, trillions. Inside of each cell, you have the cell components called the organelles. The mitochondria is one of these organelles that generates energy. It's the cell's engine. I don't know what that means. Now stick with me here, I'm almost there. So the mitochondria take nutrients from the food that we eat and convert it into energy. And this chemical reaction uses oxygen and produces free radicals as a byproduct. Think of it as a manufacturing plant putting out harsh chemicals into the atmosphere. Inside the mitochondria, these free radicals damage the DNA and proteins inside the cell. Certain nutrients neutralize free radicals, and these are called antioxidants. So if the food you eat contains enough antioxidants, then the mitochondria factory doesn't produce as much toxic waste. That's the deep dive explanation for why what you eat matters. Here are some antioxidants that are extracted from your food. Vitamin A, which you can get from dairy, eggs, and liver. Vitamin C, which comes from most fruits and vegetables, especially berries, oranges, and bell peppers. Vitamin E, which you can get from nuts and seeds and green leafy vegetables. Beta carotene, you get this with brightly colored fruits and vegetables, like carrots, peas, spinach, and mangoes. Lycopene, which comes from pink and red fruits and vegetables, including tomatoes and watermelon. Lutium and selenium. Selenium comes from rice, corn, and grains, as well as nuts, eggs, cheese, and legumes. The more colorful your diet, the better. And some of these nutrients become more bioavailable if they're cooked versus raw. And tomatoes are an example of this. The lycopene from the tomatoes become more available to your mitochondria when they are cooked. I have a download for you on how to eat your veggies. It includes a list of these antioxidants and which vegetables are best cooked versus raw. You can get it from my website and the link is in the description as well as in the corner of this video. There's no sign up required, but if you're already part of my email community, then you already have this handout in your inbox. A word about supplements. There's a debate as to whether or not vitamin supplements really make an impact on changing the course of disease. And this may have something to do with the bioavailability issue. The supplement form may not be processed the same by the mitochondria as when it comes from food. 
Also, high doses of supplements like vitamin E and beta carotene are linked to increased risk of tumor growth. So the answer here is that it's best to get your vitamins from food. You just can't get the same results by eating fast food and chips and then popping a few supplements to even it out. And one more thing, there are external factors that increase free radical production inside the mitochondria. And these are things like pollution, UV exposure, and cigarette smoke. So another thing that you can do to reduce your oxidative stress is to reduce your exposure to UV light by wearing clothes that protect your skin and sunblock. You should also minimize your exposure to cigarette smoke. Inflammation is an internal source of free radical production and your diet choices affect inflammation. Things like fried foods and high sugar and processed food increase inflammation. So reduce your oxidative stress to improve your overall mental functioning. So if you haven't already, check out my video on the depression diet. See you next time.